Get faster internet speeds for free when you get TV, internet, and phone. Ask for Trio from Rev. Rev. Join the revolution. Coming up in news tonight. Leader and deputy leader of the free national movement say not to mind the noise in the market, but be confident that they will once again be the leaders of the party. Long Island MP Loretta Butler Turner also launches her campaign, plus one dead and another injured in a traffic accident. Welcome to Our News. I'm Dana Smith. Thanks for joining us. Topping news tonight, leader of the Free National Movement, Dr. Hubert Minnis, kicked off the Rock with Doc campaign last night, and he was very pleased with the crowd turnout. Giorgio Stir was at the rally and filed this report. Hundreds of supporters turned out to support the Rock with Doc campaign on Christie Park tonight. And after his speech, leader of the party, Dr. Hubert Minnis, told supporters, be confident in the fact that after the convention, he will once again be the leader of the party. Amid party infighting, Minnis appealed to FNM supporters to unite insisting this will be the driving force behind his campaign and will make the opposition an unbeatable force heading into the next general election. I know, like all families, we have differences. But we must get together and take the fight to the PLP. Minister's comments came as his former deputy leader Loretta Butler Turner held a competing campaign launch in Rawson Square. The FNM leader said it's time to come together and speak with one voice. If we all move with one purpose and if we follow one vision, one leader, no one can defeat us. Deputy Leader Peter Turnquist said ongoing internal conflicts have posed serious challenges for the party. Notwithstanding the internal antics of a select few in our party, so blinded in their personal pursuit for power, refusing to pass the baton, which they have glued to their hands, feeling entitled by reason of family heritage or economic status. But they say they want unity. Well, if they would all come on board, if they would all do their part, we would have unity. Former Senator Lanisha Rowe, who resigned after being embroiled in controversy, also came out to support Minnis. I believe that Dr. Minnis is a man that he is open um, to those six and any other who might have opposed him uh, playing a role in the leadership of this country. PLP MP Leslie Miller also attended the Rock with Doc campaign launch. Well, I'm here to support Dr. Minnis. I think he's the best man to lead the FNM. I think he's down with the grassroots. He's having his rally here in the middle of New Providence on Historic Park, Christie Park. He's where the people are, and I think that's where his heart is. Voices, the ones who are on Bay Street, who represent really the upper class and the upper crust. The FNM's convention will be held from July 27th to the 29th. Reporting for our news, I'm Giorgio Starro. Well, the team looking to knock Dr. Hubert Minnis and Peter Turnquist out of the top two spots within the FNM also launched their campaign last night. Long Island MP Loretta Butler Turner and Dr. Dwayne Sands addressed a crowd of its cited supporters in Rawson Square. Making her bid to become the first female Prime Minister, Butler Turner said she would not only tackle key issues like crime, education and unemployment, but also bring accountability and transparency to government. To earn your respect, we must radically transform. You heard me the other day when I told you about my transformation. If I could radically transform, why can't I transform this government? You see, it starts from within and then it shows without. And then you're able to see that when you go to get something done in a government office, you don't have to have that 50 bucks in your back pocket. You understand, we need a transformation. Sands voiced his support for Butler Turner, insisting she was the right woman for the job. We are here to launch our campaign to bring change. We are here to bring change to the free national movement. We are here to plot a course for this great party for the epic battle of 2017. Among their supporters were former FNM Deputy Prime Minister Frank Watson, 
former National Security Minister Tommy Turnquist, former FNM Chairman Darren Cash, former Senator Heather Hunt, former House Speaker Alvin Smith, and FNM Senator Monique Gomez. They were also flanked by FNM MPs Nico Grant, Richard Lightborn, and Hubert Chipman. Chipman told the crowd that Sands was the only dock he could rock with. The Butler, Turner and Sands team got a major endorsement last night from former leader of the Free National Movement, Toppy Turnquist. Our Jasmine Brown joins us in studio tonight with the story. I caught up with Turnquest shortly after last night's rally ended, and he explained why he's throwing his support behind the Butler Turner Sands team. I believe that Loretta has the wherewithal to reach out to the various people, not, not just to the people that support her, not just the people that share her point of view, but all points of view within the body. I found in Loretta that she's willing to listen, she's willing to take advice, and she's willing to build consensus. That's what we need, not only in the FNM, but in the Bahamas today. Turnquest says it's for those reasons he sees Butler Turner as the person to not only lead the party, but the country. Turnquest led the FNM from 2001 to 2005 before being defeated by former Prime Minister Hubert Ingram during the party's convention. The former National Security Minister admits leading the FNM is not an easy task and says he has no doubt that Butler, Turner and Sands will meet some resistance if they win this month's leadership race. The FNM has never been an easy body uh, for leaders. It's always been uh, different agendas, but the job of the leader is to pull those agendas together and make it work. When asked if he thinks the party can be united regardless of the outcome of this month's convention, Turnquest insisted that if he and Ingram could work together, so can Butler, Turner and Minnis. 2005, we had a leadership race between when Hubert Ingram decided to come back, myself and Dion folks. And then we went right, right into the election campaign. I was one of the first people to bring those persons that supported me to support Mr. Ingram. And you can look at my tenure from 2007 to 2012 to see whether I trusted him or whether he trusted me. Now, Turnquest says even if his team of choice does not win, he will remain a steadfast FNM and will do whatever he can to make sure they win the next general election. Back to you, Dana. Thanks, Jasmine. As Butler Turner begins her campaign for leadership of the Free National Movement, our news took to Long Island to see how her constituents feel about her second leadership bid. Well, I, I wish her luck. I believe it can be a tight race between her and Mr. Minnis. Now, I don't know who can. I believe I don't know who can come out victorious because Nassau have the most of the delegates, so Nassau they can decide that. Yeah. Well, I'm not a delegate. I can't support her. Long Island resident Jude Noel said with Butler Turner being one of the first to hit the ground following the aftermath of Hurricane Joaquin in October, many Long Islanders applaud her for it and that she seems to be speaking up for the people of that island. She's doing a pretty good job. Something she could do better. But give and take with the storm, she did a good job. There have been rumors that perhaps the Long Island MP may have lost a few supporters. When our news was on the ground in Long Island, not many wished to comment on the topic in the North or South. Leonard Cartwright said at the moment it's hard to tell, but he gave these few words. I don't really think she, um, I think she gained, probably gained some, but also lost some, I think. Because, you know, we, we, we have the DNA here too, you know, so maybe she, she could have lost some. People, some people don't like the attitude she has when she's talking to people. So, you know. Still to come, a popular ice cream parlor loses thousands of dollars in stock after a power outage. Stay tuned.